What's up, y'all? We are back. We missed the video last week. Got a little busy. Uh, we had derby. It was derby week, so we had a lot going on with that. Had some derby parties and things. But today, we said, you know what? Let's drive a few hours, go to the mountains out in East Tennessee. So we're here, and uh, we're doing a little exploring, doing a little hiking. We've been hiking for a little while, and uh, today we're going to make a video of it. But it's not just hiking. We're going to find the sister's cabin, so y'all come on with us. Let's roll. It's a nice little uh, trail. It's a little windy, y'all, so I got this little wind mic on. Hopefully it works. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, the sister's cabin is like a, if y'all are from this area, east, you know, here, eastern Tennessee, you probably heard about it, or if you come here a lot. I'll tell you a little more info in just a minute. Good thing I was a gymnast, I could balance on this, you know what? <laughs> it's a little dark coming on here. Actually, this picks up light. This camera picks up light nice. It does. It's brighter on this camera than it is on in here. It is. Little schoolhouse. I'd have gotten trouble back in. You know what? You would have. We got other people coming up. How many people do you think has been in here? Thousands. They probably got to come repair. Sometimes they do a little tour thing here, like a lady comes and teaches, like she, like they taught back in the old days, and she tells you all about the times and about the sisters where we're heading right now, uh, about them going to school. Cause I think one of them taught here. I might catch a ghost on this. You never know. There's a lot of people buried back here, so who knows. We can show them the community cemetery right Yeah, go to the cemetery. So this is about the schoolhouse here. I let them read it because I'm not a good, I hate reading. It's about Miss Elsie. Miss Elsie, that's your nickname, that's what I call her. I call <laughs> Kelsey Elsie. <laughs> Miss Elsie, I guess she's a school teacher. She gone now. She was a volunteer. Hmm. So here's an old school picture from back then. What year is this? 1882. 1882. Well, it says the above one's from 1909, which is the Walker oh. family. I didn't even see that. It says right there. No? Mm hmm. Look at that old And then picture. the group to the left probably met here on Sunday to be used as a church. And then on the right is uh, children in school in 1930. But look, you see uh, see on the wall, the writing, some of that's still in there. It is. So uh, some of that probably from those kids. Yeah. And see, Miss Elsie was a volunteer here at the National Park who would teach them about the original schoolhouse history in the Walker family. Oh, we don't. Yeah. What does that say? Bob was here. It tells you not to vandalize oh. like those people did inside the school. Bob was there. It's supposed to be a community cemetery right here. Let's see. I got those little bitty headstones. Nancy Stinnett. If you look at these, these look like they ain't been there that long. See how fresh looking that is? I think they replaced some of the, well, added to the rock headstone that was here so you would know who they are. Well, I wonder how they knew who was who, though. Because some of these don't have names on it. Like right where they were buried. Like, look at these people. They're buried right next to each other. Well, cemeteries sure have changed. <laughs> Pretty neat though. It's called the Walker Sisters. I keep calling it the two sisters, don't I? You just call it the sisters. Or sisters. Okay. Walker sisters. Cool. Sisters. And they got a long driveway, we'll say that. It's nice out here. I won't film the whole mile in 1.2 miles, but.
must be in your walk to school every day. Yeah, no matter. Sleet, snow, rain, summertime. Probably didn't have no shoes on. They might have had shoes. Probably. Some type of shoes. They weren't rocking no Columbia hiking boots, so I bet. No. A little bit further. A little bit further. We're at the famous Two Sisters cabin. A lot of people, I think. Sisters are... cabin. Walk sisters. sisters. What, what's Two Sisters? Oh, you know what? We watched that movie Two Guns last night. That's why I got two in my head, I think. Yeah, that's probably why. I don't know why. I haven't been drinking or nothing, I promise. But uh, apparently everybody and their grandma wanted to come up here to see this cabin. So we're waiting on people to clear out. Then we'll roll. They're in my shot, you know. They're in my shot. I'm trying to get the shot. There's a spring house. There's people in the way. Uh, so I wanted to wait. It's nice and cool in here. Oh. Times have changed. Imagine if that tree could talk. It's got some stories. It's like an old hayloft or something, hay barn. Yeah, this is where they keep the animals. On the other, oh, okay. On the other side. There's a door over. There. Can't go in, but. Huh. There's the outside of it. Look at all these bees out here. <laughs> Look at all them bees. They won't mess with us. They're too busy pollinating there. Look at them though. I don't know if y'all can see them, but I'm gonna tell you this. I like in this camera. It picks up good color. Right, so tell us about the uh, Walker sisters. So the Walker sisters lived here. Only two of them got married and their spouses died so they eventually came out here to join their sisters and they lived on this land and they didn't want to give it back to the national park so they were one of the few families that stayed on the national park land and continued their homestead oh. um, so starting in the 70s tourists used to come out and visit them they'd cook meals and show them the old ways of the smoky mountains that's what we've heard at yes. least that's all we've heard if this is if that's false let us know. Let us know, but that's what we've heard. And then we've also heard that there is a great niece to the Walker family that runs a museum for them near Cosby. Yeah. Um, that we want to check out sometime because they have a pretty interesting story. We're in the house. Looks like uh, probably the main room of the house. <laughs> Look how low the ceilings are. You wouldn't put no chandelier in this mansion, I'll tell you that. Not much, not much in here now. Just some old wood. How many fires do you think was in that? Or meals are cooked on that fireplace? Millions. Huh. One interesting thing is, is if you look at the walls, yeah. they used to be covered with newspapers. That's how they helped insulate. Yeah, they used news. to cover these with newspapers. You could probably, actually if you look, you can just, where is it at? Let's see. <laughs> you can still see some words on this newspaper. That's crazy. Down here on this one. Uh, viewfinder sockets model number one uh, that's pretty neat though yeah. you can still see some of the old words on here I'll be darn can you imagine just sitting here just a cup of coffee on this front porch pure happiness pure happiness back in them days you didn't have electricity so you didn't have all the junk on the TV just chill. Just chill. Let that freeze be your air conditioning. Those bees, though. You ever seen anything? There's a, that's a lot. The side of the house was covered. I'm some big buggers there. They, they carry you away. Well, y'all, thanks for going on a little journey with us today. A little exploring. Uh, before we jump off here, do us a solid. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out our Instagram, Anywhere South. We would appreciate it. Uh, like we said last time, you never know, we'll pop up Anywhere South. That's why it's called Anywhere South. And uh, 
got a little more exploring to do so we'll catch you on the next video until next time i'm josh she's kelsey and i'm out